Yo, 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 what's going on guys, the boys pilot 2k7 and we're jumping to another episode of our play as a paramedic series here in Grand Theft Auto 5 and today actually we're actually by the um, ULSA campus, I actually think I should do a police or security patrol on the campus, we actually never did that before so let me know if you guys think we should do that in another episode but anyway guys we're jumping back into another paramedic series here today we have the uh, paramedic Tahoe with the texture by Harrison looking really really nice so we're gonna pretty much play as like a paramedic supervisor today we will be responding to calls if we get anything really serious we'll um request an ambulance to come transport Any unit in the, central the um, area. we person. have an ambulance call in Morningwood alright so that call is just straight for ambulance we're not even gonna bother respond to that call at all because they just need a, a transport, so they don't really need us for oh, that, but we'll I was just taking out. a look at the campus. It looks really nice, though. Like, we may have to do a patrol over there. Also, I'm not sure what why this light won't turn off today. Um, not sure if I put the wrong ELS file in or something. I don't know. I haven't um, messed around with this folder in a while, so should have been okay, but not sure what um happened to it but um yeah in the meantime let's see what's in our trunk real quick he's been doing reality shows but he's really good also guys i will be streaming again later tonight um 7 30 eastern standard time we're gonna be doing some lspdfr i just got a little ems bag and i thought there was some more so yeah we'll be doing some lspdfr tonight any unit in the Vinewood area. We've got medical aid requested in uh, West Vinewood. All right, so I got a medical aid requested. One Lincoln, 18. Respond code three. All right, they want us to respond code three, so let's go. Alright, just gotta make sure we clear out these intersections here. Also, the link to this mod that I am using is in the video description in case you guys want to check it out. Just uh, click where it says mod list. And then after you click on mod list, you click you click on um, police. I know, sorry, agency call out section. Alright, so the call is gonna be over here somewhere. I actually see the person right over there. They're on the floor. It looks like they're in the lobby. So let's see if we can help them out here. You okay, ma'am? You okay? Looks like it's, it's Carler from the Cup series. Alright, looks like she's gonna be okay. Let's see what's wrong with her. Oh, she has deep lacerations and abdominal pain. Okay. So let's go ahead and request the ambulance for her. Alright man, we're gonna we're gonna help you out, okay? So she has deep cuts and she has pains in her stomach. Those could be really serious, so we're gonna go ahead and get an ambulance for um, her. Ambulance, in route, responding code three. Don't worry, Carla, it's gonna be okay, alright? So we're just gonna stay on scene until the ambulance gets here, and then once the ambulance gets here, they'll um uh she'll um be transported by the, the ambulance, okay? Alright, here comes the ambulance actually right here. They stopped so far away. Alright, let me just get you a little closer. Alright, here they come. Hopefully nobody get hit by a freaking truck or something. Alright, let me just try to block traffic. Alright, here she is. She's having abdominal pains. 
and um, she has some lacerations as well. All right, so they're gonna transport her to uh, Mount Zona Center, and they should be good after that. I'm just gonna hold off traffic. Oh, okay, I guess I'm not. Let's try to hold off traffic for a little while. Just hold up, guys. Hold up, okay? All right, they should be good. All right, so we are clear off of this call here. Um, let's see, they're getting in. All right, there they go. All right, so they're gonna be headed to the hospital and we are 10-8 on the So let's see if we get any other calls now. And uh, call. All right, so we're good to go. Hey, All right, so we'll just hang around. I guess we'll hang out around this side of town until we get another call. And I'll uh, we'll see if anything else happens today. Vinewood units. We've got a pedestrian struck by a vehicle on a uh, Carcer Way. Hey guys, I got a report of a person hit by a vehicle. Let's go ahead and respond to that. One, Lincoln, 18. Respond code 3. Seriously, bus? Oh, there goes police. Alright, so police are on scene. Uh, we're on scene as well. Alright, so this is where... Where's the person I got hit at? <laughs> we're seeing all our Rise characters today. I don't I don't remember this guy's name, but he's one of our Rise characters as well. Alright, where's the person that got hit? I don't know where the person is at. Are they like under the car or something? Oh shoot, they're under the police car. Alright, um... Alright, he's gonna move out the way here. <laughs> oh god. Oh man, alright. Let's uh, try to work on this person here. Oh man, we gotta do CPR here. Alright, I know I did this properly last episode, but I kind of forgot how to do it this episode. <laughs> uh oh. Let's see if we can save this person's life. Here we go. I don't know when I'm supposed to press it, honestly. Yeah, I messed up. <sighs> Damn, he's gonna be dead now. Alright. Whoa! Alright, tow truck is here to come take that Jeep away. I gotta watch the video and see how I did it last time. Cause I did it right last time. But I messed up this time. Oh well. Why not? Oh well. Cause I mean he is dead. So R.I.P. to him. Alright. So the tow truck's gonna take this vehicle away. Um, oh it happened right in front of the medical center too. Damn. 
That sucks. That really sucks. Alright, so unfortunately, um, this guy here isn't gonna make it. Let me get my car out the way. That sucks that he died literally right here. Whoa, my bad. My bad, my bad, my bad. Alright, so corner's on scene now. Any available Vinewood Hills unit, we've got a medical emergency in Vinewood Hills. Alright, looks like we have another call. One, Lincoln, 18, respond code 3. Alright, so not sure what this call is about. We just got a request for an ambulance, so we'll go ahead and take it. Since most likely we'll be able to get on scene before the actual ambulance. Whoa, nearly lost it there. Should be uh, right in here. All right, let's uh, go ahead and help this person out over here. All right, let's assess their injuries. Alright, oh, stab wounds and deep laceration. Oh, man. Alright, so this guy got stabbed. Alright, so let's go ahead and request an ambulance for him. Alright, sir, so, uh, right this way. I'm just going to try to get you packaged up into uh, the ambulance gets here, okay? Alright, just stand uh, right here, okay? Alright, let's get our medical bag. So we're going to have to wait a little while until EMS ambulance gets here. Open up our trunk and our rear right door. And um, ambulance in route, responding code three. All right, so let's try to get some of those um, cuts and stuff uh, healed up while EMS is on the way here. See how far they they are. They're almost here. They just gotta come right up here. Looks like they're actually coming from the hospital too. So we just have a little while longer, and then um, this guy will be able to get out of here. So we're just gonna continue treating him until they get here, and then we should have them stabilized and ready for transport by the time that the um, ambulance pulls up. All right, I could just start to see them on the uh, the mini map there. Here they come. That was a pretty good response time, I would say. All right, here they are. All right, so they're gonna come take him. He's right over here, guys. And um, yeah, we'll probably go ahead and end it here. So I really hope you guys did enjoy this episode. They're going to take them back to Mount Zona. Perfect. So yeah, guys, I really hope you guys did enjoy this episode. I thank you guys for watching as always. Uh, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Also, look out for my live stream tonight, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Also, want to give a huge shout out to It's Blaze Bro for... Um, pretty much re uh, becoming a patreon again and editing his own patreon subscription so shout out to you it's blaze bro really do appreciate that and if anybody else would like to support me through your own patreon definitely check out the link in the description 
we can support me for as little as one dollar a month and i would re it would really help me out and i would really appreciate it so thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys enjoy and i will catch you guys in the next one peace